Today is Monday the 29th of March, the first of our Holy Week meditations where we will look at how we honestly bring God our own pain, loss and questions. We will be meditating on the letter of the Apostle Peter and reflecting on the wisdom of his words. As I enter prayer now, I pause to be still, to breathe slowly, to recenter my scattered senses upon the presence of God. Holy Spirit, when I feel alone, I am comforted because you pray with me. When I am silenced by suffering, I am grateful that you pray through me. And Jesus, when I feel helpless, I am strengthened because you are with the Father right now praying for me. We join together in the words of Psalm 4. Answer me when I call to you, O God who declares me innocent. Free me from my troubles, have mercy on me and hear my prayer. We reflect on the words of the Apostle Peter, one of Jesus' closest friends. One Peter five seven to eleven. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. To him be the power for ever and ever. Amen. God's voice can be muted by our wounded preconceptions of who he really is and how he speaks and what we think he will say. But when we approach him again and again with some deep need, his eyes are not angry, bored or cold, assessing the merits of our request or the techniques of our prayers Whenever we come to God with an open wound of longing, we come to Abba, Father, who loves us deeply. We should cast all our anxieties on him, says the Apostle Peter, simply because he cares for us. 
Abba Father, we cast the great burden of our anxieties on you because you are stronger than us and you care for us deeply. We name before you the particular burdens, large and small, that seem to weigh us down this week. The Apostle Peter's words are as true today as they were 2,000 years ago when they were written. The worldwide family of believers still undergoes sufferings. For many, following Jesus can mean the loss of homes, relationships, friendships, and even more. We now pray for our brothers and sisters who are experiencing persecution. Help them to cast their anxieties onto you. Abba Father, make them strong, firm and steadfast. As we return to the passage, we open our ears to hear your word and our hearts to yield to your will once again. Peter 5 7 to 11 Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. To him be the power for ever and ever. Amen. Just like Peter tells us that there is still an enemy who wants to kill and destroy, today we pause to put on the armour given to us by God to withstand the enemy's attacks. Lord, we belt your truth around our waist. We embrace the gift of righteousness, a breastplate protecting our hearts. We stand ready in the shoes of the gospel of peace we pick up the shield of faith we cover our minds with the helmet of salvation and we take firm grip on the sword of the spirit which is the word of god god we yield to your grace even if it means that we will experience suffering because we know that you will rescue us and make us strong, firm and steadfast. And now, as we prepare to take this time of reflection into the coming week, we remember that the Lord says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen and uphold you. I will protect you with my righteous hand. Father, help me to live this week to the full, being true to you in every way. Jesus, Help me to give myself away to others, being kind to everyone I meet. Spirit, help me to love the lost, 
proclaiming Christ in all I do and say. Amen.